JJ and Mikey's family village is being invaded. So we need to build an aircraft carrier to recapture their home. Louis, this is really bad. If we don't build secure aircraft carriers, Mikey and JJ's family are going to die. I know, Pip. This is terrible. And the worst part is we only have about 20 minutes. Because when the sun goes down, the drowned army oh, is going no. to attack. Oh, Louis, I don't want the drowned army to hurt me. Let's start building <laughs> right now. All right. Good idea, Pip. I'm going to start building out with a ton of wool right now so that I can build the area where my ship is going to be. I need to make sure this aircraft carrier is huge. It needs to be able to hold a lot of planes. Well, Louie, I'm going to build my aircraft right here, and I'm going to make it out of reinforced dirt. What? Reinforced dirt? Oh, oh Pip, no. this is really bad. Did you know that dirt will just wash away in the water? <laughs> It'll turn the ocean into muddy oh, water. No. Oh, Louie, no, it won't. It's reinforced <laughs> dirt, not regular dirt. You know what, Pip? I guess you could do that, but I have to start on my ship right now. So I'm going to get a wand of symmetry to make this building way faster. Let's go ahead and use this mirrored mode so it builds everything I build on the other side. But now I need a good block to build this whole ship out of. And I think it's going to be made out of iron and this black iron as well. I'm also going to need some blocks so I can see what is under the water. So I'll use these iron catwalks, and this is how I'm going to walk to my ship. I'll make sure that my entrance is at the end of this catwalk right here. Let's just go ahead and build it across, and connect it to the main island, where Mikey and JJ's families are. This way, Mikey and JJ will be able to get onto my ship whenever they want. Well, Louie, for Mikey's family to get onto my ship, they're going to have to swim over here. What, Pip? Did you know that is a terrible thing to make them do? If they have to swim to get to your ship, they might die to the drowns oh, before no. they get on. Well, if they don't swim, they're going to sink, just like the Titan. Oh my gosh, Pip! Are you trying to turn your base into the Titanic? If you are, let me know. If you guys didn't know, the Titanic is a ship that sank hundreds of years ago. And it was really catastrophic. Loads of people died. But as you guys can see, I'm building the underwater part of my ship first. I need to make sure that this thing is awesome. So I'm going to make it shaped like a ship. And underneath, I'm going to make it a big V shape. This way, it will cut through the water. Most aircraft carriers are really thin on the bottom bottom, and then really thick on the top. This way, they can hold airplanes. Oh, Louie, my dirt frame is looking so good right now. I might as well call my ship unsinkable. Um, Pip, your ship has a bunch of holes in it. That will sink in about 3.5 seconds, I think. Um, no, Louie, let me just put yellow wool, and then my ship will be totally unsinkable, just like the Titanic. Um, Pip, the Titanic sank. I'm very sorry to say this to you. No, it didn't. Louis. It still works today. Yeah, maybe as a submarine because it's under the water. <laughs> but anyways, guys, my aircraft carrier is not going to be a submarine. I'm going to build the shape just like this. I think that's awesome. And I'll fill it in with this iron. If you guys didn't know, iron is one of the strongest blocks in Minecraft. This is why I'm building my aircraft carrier out of it. And I'm also making sure that each of these sections of the underground of the ship can be separated off into their own rooms. Just like this. I'll have my first floor here, second floor here, and third floor here before getting to the planes on top. But before I do anything inside, I need to finish off this ship shape. This is gonna take me a little while because ships are very, very long. And this aircraft carrier has to be huge. I also need to make sure that I can put an engine inside of this thing as well. Because a big ship like this is going to need an even bigger engine. Let me just put cobblestone all around my ship. Oh, just because Louis said my ship was going to sink, but not anymore. <laughs> Guys, while Pip is doing whatever Pip is doing, I'm just working on the foundation of my ship. I need to keep building to make sure this thing is perfect. I'm building this out of black iron blocks. As you guys know, these are way stronger than regular iron blocks. 
and they will keep this ship from being eaten by sharks from the bottom. I also need to make sure that this ship has a really good ship shape. So I think I'm going to start working on the shape of the ship right now. I need to make sure that the front of it is very sharp. This way it can cut through the water. Maybe like that. But the front of a ship has to go out a lot. As you guys know, ships are very long when they get to the front. Just like that. So let's go ahead and connect the shape up to down here. I'm going to go down and then follow it up. And then I'm going to curve it around like this. And now, if you take a look, it looks just like a ship shape. It's very round at the front. Now, I just need to connect it all up. So let's go ahead and do that. This might take a little moment. I'm not incredible at building ships in Minecraft. Let me just try and make this work. Here we go, like this. And then I'll go up from here and follow it in like this. And I'll keep making it taller and taller as we go. This is going to connect really well to the front of the ship. I can't wait to see what this looks like. As you guys can see, it's looking awesome so far. Just like a really awesome cruise ship. Um, Louis, something is wrong with your ship. Your ship is full of water. Huh? Oh, I know it's full of water, Pip, right now. But once I've finished with the shape of this thing, I can go ahead and put some sponges inside. Which will very, very much stop it from being overflowed <laughs> yeah. with water. I'm going to make the back of the ship flat. As it doesn't need to be as shaped as the front. The front is only shaped like that so it can get through the water but the back can be flat this is where the propellers will go look at that if i fly out it's a very very nice ship shape but now i need to remove all of the water from the inside this is very important because if i don't it will sink so let's grab some sponges and get started here we go i'm going to place a ton of sponges everywhere like this if I place a ton, as you can see, it will get rid of most of the water. I just need to go ahead and place a ton of sponges going through the middle like this. And there we go. I got rid of the top layer of water. It seems like the bottom layer really wants to stay there. But I cannot let it. This aircraft carrier has to be insane. All right, let's fill up all of this ship with sponges and then use admin commands to get rid of them. So I don't have to break them all by hand. All right, this is coming along very nicely. All I have to do is get rid of the rest of this water, and we are good to go. Let's just use my admin commands to get rid of this sponges. Boom, there we go. And now I need to get rid of the wet sponges. Boop, and look, we have the inside of our ship ready to go. But I'm going to build the inside right now. Let's go ahead and add a few floors. I need to make sure that this thing has plenty of floors so that I can fit all the things that a ship would need. Just like maybe this bottom floor I'm building right now should be where the engine room is and where I keep JJ's family. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to fill up this roof right here and this is where everything will go underneath. Let me just fill up these little gaps right here by hand and then the rest of this I can fill with admin commands. So let's grab an axe, go from this side, and go all the way to this side. And now I just replace the air with iron blocks. And watch this! Magically, the entire build is filled with iron! Now, let's go ahead and build JJ's room down here with the engine! I think first I'm going to start with the main engine room. So let's make sure this thing looks really crazy. I'm going to get some blocks of diamonds, and I'm going to get these windmill blocks. These look really cool, like turbines. And now what I'm going to do is get these diamond blocks and fill them around like this, in a rectangle shape. This is what engines kind of look like. But now what I'm going to do is open up a few spaces here and get something called a creative motor. As you can see, it looks just like a small engine. I'm going to put that inside of the main engine, like this. And now I need some of these cogwheels, like that. And this is what the engine is going to run off of. Look at how awesome this is! I'm going to place these cogwheels all over the place. I'll place some right here, and I'll place a large cogwheel up here. And look how cool this thing looks. It looks just like a real engine. I'm going to fill in all of these blocks around like this. And boom, this is amazing. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some fans as well. Because engines need to have fans to cool them down. 
So I'll break some blocks around the back here and go ahead and add some fans coming out of the side like this. This way it will blow all of the hot air away from the engine and the engine will not overheat. I'll also have some extra fans like this on these cogs. Look at that! This is the coolest engine ever! What do you guys think? I think just to make this look a tiny bit extra cool, I'm going to add some more emerald blocks. I'm going to place these cool ones with these gold around them like this. And then I'll place some of these awesome emerald tiles going all the way around. And I'll make sure you can see the fans around the back too. Now it's time to add some glass because this engine is going to be in a really cool glass enclosure like this. Because at the end of the day, nobody is going to need to touch it unless the ship breaks down, which it won't. Because this whole thing is made out of emeralds and diamonds. If you guys could make an engine out of anything, what would it be? I would personally make an engine out of dark matter, but I don't have that in Minecraft. Oh, Louie, I would make an engine out of dirt. <laughs> oh, of course you would, Pip. You always make your engines out of dirt. They are terrible. Your ship doesn't even work whenever you try to drive it. Oh, I know, Louie, but that was only one time. Cut me some slack. All right, Pip. I'm sorry. Listen, you build an engine and show me what it looks like once you're done. But in the meantime, I'm going to build a room for Mikey and JJ to stay. This way, when they're inside of my ship, they will be nice and safe and secure. To build this, I'm going to need some quartz blocks. So let me get some of those and empty out my inventory. I'm also going to get some lime wool for Mikey and some red wool for JJ. And now it's time to build these rooms. I think I'm going to go ahead and build JJ's room on the side with the engine. This way, if he gets bored, he can always look at how cool that engine is. There we go. That is JJ's side. And now I'm going to split it once again down the middle like this. And then I'm going to place some lime wool. And this is where Mikey will stay. This is going to be the safest room on my entire boat. And it needs to be, because if it's not, Mikey and JJ will die. All right, let's build up some quartz blocks like that to separate the rooms. And let's build them over like this, like an archway. I think to make it look like a cooler archway, I'll get some of these quartz stairs. And I'll get a quartz slab. Now watch this. I'll place it like this with a slab at the top. And now it looks like a really cool archway. That's awesome. But now it's time to build Mikey and JJ's rooms where they will be safe and secure. So I'm going to start off by getting some bookshelves because JJ absolutely loves to read. Let's go ahead and build up with these quartz blocks and then put a big bookshelf on this side. I need to also fill up this top area here. We cannot have any spaces in the ceiling. There we go. And now right here, I'm going to get a sofa because right here is where JJ is going to be able to watch <laughs> TV. So on this side right here, I'm going to place a TV stand with a TV screen, just like that. Let's turn it on as well, so it works. Perfect! And here we go, guys. Now that I've done with the main area where JJ will watch his favorite TV shows, I'm going to add some little beams like this. And then over here, I'm going to have a desk. So let's just grab that. And this desk is going to have a Nintendo Switch on it! Do you guys like playing the Nintendo Switch? What is your favorite game? But there we go. We have the Nintendo Switches, and now it's time for the bedroom. And what a better place to have a bed than right in front of this super cool engine. I'm going to place some bunk beds like this. This way, JJ's family can sleep on one side, and Mikey's family can sleep on the other, just in case they come here too. This is such a cool bunk bed. There we go, though. I've built JJ's room, and now it's time to build Mikey's. Mikey's room will be a lot easier to build because I know that Mikey is a noob and will love anything. So let's go ahead and add some water. And this way, Mikey can go for a swim because she's a turtle. All right. And now I'll also get a sofa too for Mikey. I'll go ahead and build this sofa curving around like this. And I'll get a painting because I know that Mikey would just love to stare at a painting all day. That looks kind of cool. And now all I need to do is add a lime bed. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll get this bed and I'll place it right inside of here. Mikey can sleep there and the rest of Mikey's family can sleep here. And I'll add some bunk beds too on this side. 
and I'll also need some doors. This is so that the bunk beds stay on like that, or else they'll fall off. And boom, there we go. This room is now complete. Oh, Louie, I bet your engine isn't as good as mine. I'm going to power <laughs> my engine with duck poo. Let me see this thing. I'm coming down now and... Are you kidding me? You're keeping ducks enclosed in that tiny little fence area? That's terrible. What's so wrong with it, Louie? They're my family. They do whatever I ask of them. Well, I guess since they're your family, it's not too bad, but... You're using dog power to power your ship? Uh, are you sure that's going to be enough? Of course it is, Louie. Do you not know how powerful duck energy is? I have no clue how powerful duck energy is, Pip. Uh, can you explain how strong it is? Basically, Louie, imagine if you have a son times another son okay. powered by 20 million suns. Huh? Wait, what? That is not how strong duck power is. You're lying to me. Oh, Louie, I would never lie to you. Uh -huh. You're always lying to me. I'm on to you, Pip. Let me go back to my base. That was so weird. Duck power isn't that strong, or is it? Comment down below what you think. But I need to start working on the top deck of my ship. I have the rooms done down below, but I really want to start on my aircraft carrier because Pip is so far ahead. Let's go ahead and build the ship shape. And I know that aircraft carriers go out. They have to be very long and wide. So let me get my wand of symmetry to help me build this thing. So now that I've got my wand of symmetry place down. You know what? I think I want to build my ship out of red concrete. This stuff is really, really strong, and it's going to make such a cool aircraft carrier. So I'm going to build out a few blocks like this, then I'll do three, and then I'll do four. And look, it comes out all the way. That is how aircraft carriers are shaped. So let's go ahead and do this build. So I'm going to build out a ton of blocks and make this thing awesome. I need to make sure that this aircraft carrier has a lot of space because airplanes are going to be taking off from the top of it, meaning I'm going to need a massive runway on it, unlike Pip's tiny little runway there. So let's just keep building and building and building. But while I'm building, guys, like the video if you've ever built a ship in Minecraft. And how big was it? Was it like a real-life cruise ship? That would be so cool. The biggest build I've ever made in Minecraft is a cruise ship, and I put a massive pool on it. And it had a casino inside, it had an arcade, and it was amazing! I could also fit a whole shopping mall inside. Louis, the biggest build I've ever built was probably that dirt house. <laughs> Wait, a dirt house? Are you kidding me? That's the biggest build you've ever made? Was it at least a big dirt house? Oh, Louie, it was a huge dirt house. The biggest you've ever seen. Uh-huh. Well, can you tell me, is your ship that you're building right now bigger than the dirt house you built? Oh, no, Louie. This is the biggest build I've ever built right now. Oh, my gosh. Pip, you are so silly sometimes. I swear. Anyways, I've got to finish off this aircraft carrier. I need the biggest runway ever. All right, there we go. Look at the shape that I've got for my aircraft carrier right now. Now, it's time to add this runway, and I think I'll make it go down the side of the ship. So I'll make it start from, let's say, right here. So let's get this block right here, and let's build a huge runway. It has to be plenty of blocks wide as well. Let's make it go all the way out to the end of the ship. Let's set this to black concrete, like that! Now we just need to add the yellow stripe going all the way down the middle, like this, and boom! We now have a runway for all of our planes to come down. Now I just need to make sure that it fits on the ship because this thing is huge let me just go around this aircraft carrier like this so that the runway stays on after all some of it is floating off the edge and that's how it's going to have to be so that this thing can work but now that i fit this aircraft carrier thing on i'm going to start building the ship shape all the way up to here it has to be about this tall. So let's just make it fit. Let's just go around like this. And then let's go back around like this and follow this shape right on the bottom. I'm copying from the bottom area here. This way, it will stay the same shape. And 
And boom. This is looking awesome. Now all I've got to do is just build up this flat area on the back and make sure that it still looks like a ship just uh, like uh, this. And I'm going to make it kind of rounded as well. This way I can still get in and out of the ship just no problem. Let's just build up the wall here and then build up this wall too. And now we have the flat back end of the ship like that. This thing is looking kind of like an anvil, but that's how it has to look. These ships kind of do look a bit weird. Now let's go ahead and fill in all of these areas here. And this carrier ship is almost complete. I just need to fill up these blocks right here. And I'll just use the wand of symmetry to make it faster to build. Go, 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 go. Here we go, and boom. We've built up the area inside of the ship. Now we just have to build up this wall. Come on. Oh, Louis, your airship looks kind of ugly. Mine is looking way better. <laughs> oh, shush, Pip. Shush, mine is going to be really good in a minute. And wait, why does yours look like that? What is that what? supposed to be? Oh. What's wrong, Louis? Um, you have, like, wings on your ship? Uh, it's not a plane, you know. No, no, no. When the aircraft come onto the ship, they're going to have two rooms. One on the left and one on the right. I'm still trying to figure out what to put in them. Maybe a kitchen, a bathroom, like a whole house. Well, I don't know, Pip. We don't have much time until the drowns attack. We gotta keep building as fast as we can. I'm trying to build as fast as I can, Louis. But anyways, guys, I just realized Pip is building rooms on his aircraft carrier. And that is exactly what an aircraft carrier has. It has an airplane holding system, but it also has rooms where people can live. I have them underneath the deck right now, so I don't need to build any rooms. But I do need to build some areas for people to stand. I think I'm going to have to build a room that will detect ships and planes coming into land. So I'm going to build a big observatory tower. Let me go ahead and build that. I'm going to build this round shape like this. And this will be the shape of the air control room. If you guys didn't know what air control is, it's basically where the military sits to make sure that planes land in the right place. And I'm going to go ahead and use these red stained glass windows so that you can see a plane coming from the sides whenever you might need to look. Then I'm also going to build this building up a lot taller up here, kind of like a castle like this and then i'm going to connect it in the middle just like that i'm going to fill in these empty gaps here with a bunch of stained glass as well so that you can see up into the sky and see whether there's a plane coming this should make it really easy for the air control to see what's happening outside here we go and boom that is an awesome looking air control room but mm, I think it's missing something. It needs a radar on the top. So I'm going to add one right now. I'll just do this shape coming off like that. And now I need a motor like this. I'm also going to get something called a clutch. And I'm going to get some more of these cogwheels. Then I need some of these things called shafts. And this is going to make it work. First, I'm going to place this sticky mechanical bearing facing towards this, like that. Now I'll go inside of this air control area and I will go ahead and place the motor facing inwards like this. Now I'll go ahead and place this clutch facing into it with these cogwheels coming off. All I have to do is place a cogwheel on the top and a shaft going into that. And now it'll rotate. Now, if air control wants to turn on or off the radar, they just press this button here. But I'm not done yet. I have to remove this radar shape and get some glue. This way, I can make the radar hold together while it's on the aircraft carrier. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and... Boom! We now have a radar turned on and it's detecting planes. But now, I just realized we need some planes. So let's go ahead and get some of those. As you guys know, on an aircraft carrier, planes are usually stored right next to the main radar building. So I'm going to make a little area like this out of iron blocks. I'm going to also build this up very quickly because I need to make sure I have planes in as soon as possible or JJ and Mikey won't be able to escape. Wait a second. What's going on in my air control building? Why are there cobwebs in here? Spider Pip to the rescue! No! Pip, what are you doing in a Spider-Man costume? And why are you putting webs all over my base? Well, I, I thought about improving 
improving your ship. I thought if I put cobwebs, it will help slow down the planes. Pip, I don't know about you, but I do not need these cobwebs. If you look, this runway is long enough for planes to stop. I don't need any cobwebs. And besides, it makes my ship look abandoned. It looks like there's nothing in here. But anyways, Pip, you need some plane storage. As you can see, I have some right now, but your build just doesn't. I don't need plane storage, Louie. If the planes want to fit, they can just go in the ocean. Um, Pip, you should know by now that if a plane goes in the ocean, it will sink. It's not like a boat. Well, why don't they just make the planes in the boats as well? Oh, that's actually a good point. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some planes that work as boats as well. But I guess with things like fighter jets, you can't have them float in the water. They're just too heavy. Well, anyways, Louis, I don't have that much money, so I can't afford plane storage. Um, Pip, you're in creative Bruh. mode. You have millions and billions of dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Wait. Oh, my goodness, guys. That means I can make my air tower out of diamonds. Yeah, I guess you could do that, Pip. But but make sure not to make your ship too heavy. If it's too heavy, it'll sink. Oh, Louie. My ships never sink. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about that. But now, guys, it's time to add these planes. So I'm going to put one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. There are four planes here. One for me and one for every member of JJ's family. I hope JJ's little brother knows how to fly a plane. Like the video if you think he does. But now I have these planes. I'm going to build the inside of this air control area. I need to make sure that you can turn off this whenever you need. I need to make sure that you can turn on and off the radar whenever you need. So I'll go ahead and use something called a redstone link. This is basically just redstone, but wireless. It's kind of like Bluetooth. But I'll have that set to receiving mode where the little tiny white circle is going around it. And then I'll put a cogwheel inside of it so it works. Now I'll go all the way back down here. I'll place one on here with the cogwheel inside. And now, if I press this lever, it should deactivate the radar. And then I can turn it on, and I can turn it off whenever I want. Now, I'll go ahead and add some tables in on the inside of this air control area so that I can signal in to all the planes flying over. And I'll also get some of these consoles and these screens so that I can tell the planes what's going on in the air around them. And there we go. This is the inside of my air control room. I can sit and I can tell the planes what's going on. And then when I need to, I can turn on this radar and it works just fine. But this area has to be super secret. No regular people can get in here unless they are me or a member of the military. So I'll put a code door on it with the code 1234. Nobody will guess that one, right guys? But now I need to go ahead and add some traps to stop those drowns from getting onto my boat. So let me just go ahead and do this. I'll add some blocks just like this. And now I'm going to go into my creative menu and get something called one-way glass, guys. This is really cool. And you'll see why in a second. If I place these blocks right here, as you see, they look quite normal. But if I go around the back of them, you can see through them like glass. So let me just place a ton of these down. This is going to look like a wall on the back of my ship. But little does anybody know, this is going to be a TNT launcher. Let me just show you. It looks like a wall, but if I go here, it's glass. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And on the top here, I can turn it into regular blocks so that it blends in with the top two so no one knows from above. Oh, Louie, look at my tower of diamonds. Oh my gosh, that looks really cool. But what's with those two really bright diamond blocks right there? Oh, what diamond blocks? Do you mean these blocks? Whoa, 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 what's going on? Did you just shoot <laughs> fire charges at me? I I've got secret dispensers in my base. Oh, Pip, I am going to get revenge. Grr. Just you wait until I build my TNT launcher. It won't just kill all the drowns, but it'll sink <laughs> your ship. Louis, if you sink my ship, then you're disqualified and I win. What? No, 
I'm not. Oh, you know what? I guess that is fair. But at the end of the day, Pip, it doesn't matter who's disqualified or not because our base just has to be able to protect JJ and Mikey's families. Oh, Louie, you're right. But Mikey's family is safe with me. Yeah, let's hope so, Pip, because I'm looking at the sun and... Oh, no. It's sunset. We don't have long. I need to build a trap right now. Oh, uh, what do I do? All right, let's very quickly speed run some traps. So I'm going to make a way into JJ and Mikey's rooms, but I need to make sure it goes through a bunch of deadly traps. Let's go ahead and do this really quickly. I'll build a wall coming all the way down just like this. And I'm going to add a parkour room inside with a bunch of lava. Let's just go from this block and then go all the way over here like this. And let's set this to iron blocks like this. Now, I need to make sure that it's tall enough that nothing can just walk around. So let's make a few blocks above like this. So nothing could just jump over and attack JJ and Mikey. Now, let's go ahead and fill in this area right here with a ton of lava like this. This is awesome. But now it's time to add some parkour. Those mobs are not going to be able to get through this parkour. I can already see it happening. They're just going to fall into the lava and <laughs> die. Here we go. Let's add some parkour jumps now. I'll just add a few simple jumps like this. Maybe Pip would be bad at this, but who knows? But now over here, I'm going to make some of this lava into fake lava. Guys, if you don't know what that is, it means that this is lava that doesn't kill you when you jump inside. It is really crazy. Look, if I go into survival mode, I could swim in this lava without dying. But I'm going to have this come down into JJ and Mikey's rooms like this. And I gotta block it off really quickly just so I don't mess anything up. I'm going to add some signs up here. This way, I should be able to jump through the lava and into the base nice and safely. Let's just do this. And now watch this, guys. If I jump into this lava, I come out inside of JJ and Mikey's rooms. This is super secure. But now I have to make sure I have a trap that stops the drowns from getting in. Let's get some spikes really quickly. And let's just secure the door with these. This way, the zombies will have to jump over one layer of spikes to get in. And they might die to it. But now it's time to add an ultra-secure door. So I'm going to add a keypad door right on the front of this base with my favorite password, 1234. Now, not only do you have to get through a keypad door and spikes, you have to do the parkour to get into the room. But now it's time to add a TNT cannon. This is what's going to keep JJ and Mikey safe. I need to make sure this is really good. So let's get some emerald fans and some dispensers like this. Let's place them facing the wall like that. Now, let's get a ton of TNT. I'm going to fill up all of these dispensers full of TNT. This is going to be awesome, guys. Just you wait and see how amazing this TNT launcher is going to be. <laughs> yeah. So let's set this up with redstone. We are going to get some redstone repeaters and some redstone dust. And we are going to fill this up like this. I'm going to get some repeaters here and some repeaters here. Now I'll place some blocks on the top and on the bottom like this. All I have to do now is power these blocks right here and it will work. I'm going to bring this lever all the way to my one-way glass. And now I should be able to power the TNT machine from here. Look at that. There's so much TNT that came out. And boom. Look, six TNT pieces spawn and blow up at the bottom. Those drowns will have no chance. But that is my TNT trap. And now it's time to add one more. But now, guys, I need a ladder that takes me up into the main area so that I can even shoot this TNT trap. So let's go ahead and make it go from the inside here. I'm going to go halfway down the parkour, and then I'll add my ladders. This way, I'll be able to go up here and... Wait a second. <laughs> it takes me into the room with the radar system. This is actually really cool. So, boom. That is looking amazing. Now I can get up to the top and fly my planes. And I can use my TNT machines. But now, I need an armory. Very quickly, let's throw one together. So I'll do it. Where do I want my armory? Um, I'll do a building over here at the front. Let me just very quickly build it. I need an axe. And then I need to go up like this. And then I'll outline it with blackstone bricks. Boom, like that. 
Now I just need to add some wood around the outside to make it look like a good building very, very quickly. Go, 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 go. I do not have much time left. Those drowns are going to attack any second. Louie, the sun is going down. Oh, we really no. need to hurry. I know, Pip. Oh my gosh, it's going down so fast. Let me just take a look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it just went down even more. Oh no, um, no, 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 no. Okay, let's just make a big doorway into this armory room and let's place some armor inside. First, I'm going to need a ton of chests. Then, I'm going to need some armor stands. And now, I'm going to need some dragon steel armor. The strongest armor in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and give myself some of that. Let's put a ton of dragon steel armor inside of here. On top of these armor stands. This armor is the strongest in the game. And I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to survive the drowns. Let's just put some red concrete over the top so I know where they are. They blend in really well. And now on the other side, I'm going to put a ton of chests. I need to fill these up with weapons and armor. So I'm going to get a ton of these ice dragon bone swords. Like this. And I'll get a ton of golden apples. This way I will not die. Now all that's left is to get a dragon bone bow. And some bone arrows. These are the... Which is really good for us. This means I will be able to kill mobs in a single shot. And perfect. I think that'll have to do for my armory room now. Oh, the drowns are going to attack any second, Pip. Mikey and JJ's families are not safe. We have to bring them inside now. Come on, JJ. We have to go. It looks like JJ is now safe inside of my aircraft carrier. Um, Louie, look outside. Oh, what's going on, Pip? Don't tell me you've built something else out of dirt and... Oh my gosh, the drowns are here! Uh, uh, quick, Pip. Get suited up right now. Get your armor on. And oh my gosh, Pip. It seems like I just got put into survival mode as well. We were very lucky that we could fly over to our armory rooms in time. Phew, that was a close call, Louis. But let's fight these drowned. I know, right, Pip? Let's do this. Come here, you stinky drowns. Hiya! Take this and... Oh my gosh, they are not taking very much damage. They're all coming for me, Pip, help! I'm coming, Louie. Let me just get my arrows and let's fight them. All right, Pip, help me out a bit here. Shoot them, shoot them. Oh my gosh, this isn't good, Louie. They're all on me. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, don't worry, Pip. I'm helping you from a distance and... Oh no, they all just turned around. This is bad. This is bad. Come on, guys. Come over here. Um, Louie, never mind. I'm getting overrun. Help me. All right, fine. Um, Pip, what is the passcode to your base? I need to get inside. Uh, it says the passcode right next to the door. All right, I'm jumping in now. Hopefully these drowns don't try to kill me. Come on. What is the password? It doesn't say. Wait, it says 6006, but backwards. Okay, that's 6006. Come on, I gotta get inside. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, Pip, I'm inside now. And it seems like the middle of your base says this. So I guess this is the one I have to go through about taking damage and phew, I'm in. But those zombies are outside and they're hungry. Surely those zombies can't break in, right? I don't think so. That door is really secure. Oh my gosh, what just oh happened? Oh my goodness. Wait, I think the zombies just broke through your wall, Pip. Are you kidding me? How did they do that? <laughs> I don't know. These drowns are really strong. They are way stronger than any drowns we've ever seen before. Wait, Louie, how did they get inside? I don't know, but we gotta get out of here. And Pip, your plane isn't oh, even fueled. No. I can't drive it. Well, how do I fuel a plane? I've never fueled one before. You're supposed to use your fuel, but you don't have any on this ship. Except for those fuel barrels. And they're really flammable, Pip. And you don't have any fuel except for these fuel barrels. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. They are extremely flammable. If anything wrong, happens on your base, it all explodes. Oh, well, don't worry, Louie. I'm shooting the drowns behind you. All right, me too. Oh my gosh. And wait, Pip, they're getting inside your rooms. Louie, they're getting inside. They're getting in my base. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me you put Mikey in that room all by himself. Of course I didn't put Mikey in that room all by himself. I put oh. him with his family. Oh. Yeah, but the issue is, Pip, all of these drowns are getting inside and they're going to take out Mikey. We have to protect them. Come on, shoot them. I'm trying. Oh no, uh, we're being overrun. Maybe we should move Mikey to my base. It would be safer after all. Oh, that sounds like the best idea, Louis. All right. Oh, come on, Mikey. We have to go. You have to leave. 
fight out with us. Come on, Pip. We gotta get out of here. We need to run out of your base and into mine. Follow me through the doors. I'm coming, Louie. Hiya. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. To the main doorway. Oh, where are you, Pip? Where are you? Coming. Oh my gosh, there's so many drowns. I need to get out of here. Come on, Pip, follow me. Just use the password one, two, three, four and get in here. All right, and now take these golden apples. You are going to need them. Follow me. Parkour time! Come on, let's just make this jump. Come on, Pip, you got this. You got this. Just do this and you'll be able to climb up this ladder. Come on! All right, we are here right now. And my radar system is going crazy. All right, Pip, I hope Mikey followed us. Uh, but I don't know what to do now. Wait a second, Louie. What does this button do? Oh, no. Pip, don't press that. I just realized that TNT is facing towards your base. Wait, TNT? Oh, no. Pip, I'm pressing don't it. press that button. No, your base. Wait, what? Wait, Louie, what happened? Where did my base go? All of the fuel you were keeping on your ship blew up. You were just leaving it out in the open. I didn't know it was going to blow up, Louie. Well, that's your mistake. I think your ship is kind of out of commission huh? now. Wait, Louie, wasn't Mikey on that ship? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. What if Mikey's dead? Please, Mikey, still be alive. Come on, let's take a look and... Um, I don't think Mikey may have survived this. Uh, I don't know. Wait, the room he was on is kind of still alive, but I don't see Mikey anywhere. Oh, surely Mikey is somewhere. Maybe he went to your base, Louie. Well, Pip, that's the thing. We have to go and check. Come on. We just have to run from your base and... Oh, my gosh, there's somebody drowned. Come on, Pip. Go under the water. Swim with me. Swim with me. Swim with me. Come on. I'm swimming, but I'm not a great swimmer, Louie. You're okay, Pip. Just use the password 1234 and get inside. Park all your way to victory. Come on, drowns. Get out of my way. All right. One, two, three, four. Close the door and I'm safe. Come on, Pip. Keep going. All right. Come on. Let's do this. Let's just get a running start and jump. Go. All right, Pip. Come on. Come on. Come on. We come have on. to move. One all more right. jump. Just keep going. <gasps> no, not one more jump. Oh. Three more jumps, Pip. We got to keep going. How long is this made? It's very, very long. You gotta be careful, buddy. Come on, let's just jump and <gasps> made it. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, just a few more jumps. All right, Louie, I, I made it up here now, but where are we supposed to go? Well, Pip, follow me. Wait, into the lava? Louie, are you crazy? Yes, into the lava. Come on down, jump in. Okay, if you say so. And ah! Wait. See? Come over here, Pip. Come on. All right. There you go. You're not burning anymore. And welcome to Mikey and JJ's rooms. But, Louie, Mikey isn't here. Oh, I don't know, Pip. This is really bad. Um, I see. I see JJ, but wait a second. There's Mikey. How did he get in there? It's the engine room. Wait, how did he swim in the engine room? How is he alive? I don't know, Pip, but all I know is that Mikey is now safe. <gasps> That's Great, Louie. But, Louie, what about those drowns? We've been fighting them for ages. Well, Pip, let's go outside and see if we have any more to fight. We have a job to do. We need to keep JJ and Mikey safe. Let's right. get up there now. All right, Pip, come on. Let's open that door and... Wait, where are the drowns? Daytime, Louie. No way, Pip. I think we just survived the drowns. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, Louie. That was so difficult, but we did it with the power of friendship. I know, Pip. We barely managed to survive, and we almost lost Mikey in the process. But I'm very glad that they're now safe, and we managed to protect them with our awesome aircraft carriers. But thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's, Let's go! go!